with the company now being an exporter and supplying ESCOM domestically, we felt that it's important that we take our responsibility as a responsible corporate citizen beyond where we were and consider investing in renewable energy. Why? Because we believe that climate change is reality. We believe that carbon neutrality is important and we have to make sure that we participate. We want to participate as progressive and as collaborative as possible in the just energy transition this continent is facing and the journey that we're traversing. It is imperative that while we try to take this journey, one, we take along the communities within which we operate, we take along the strategy of this country to make sure that we are energy independent, we have security of energy, and it's affordable and it's accessible to everybody. We understand that the whole story of a, a, a climate change which is a reality, is addressed seriously and we reduce our carbon footprint and we achieve neutral, neutrality over a period of time. We are excited as the shareholders of this company that this is the journey we're taking. We're not going to let Serity stagnate. We are going to make sure that we are active in participating in the future energy needs of our not only our country, not of SADC, not of the sub-Saharan African uh, region, but of the entire continent. Sriti is looking to construct a 155 megawatt wind farm in Mpumalanga. Um, this makes a significant stride towards our, our carbon neutrality. Um, the agreement paves way uh, to uh, Sriti Green's larger 900 megawatt renewable energy project. We are very comfortable that we are going to have a successful wind farm in Mpumalanga. This is the heartland of energy in South Africa and transforming, transforming the landscape over the next two, three decades to transition um, in a mindful way to renewable energy is important. The project is approximately 4 billion rand in capital cost that will be built in this area. And that's just the first phase 155 megawatts of 900 megawatts. So we have our environmental authorization, uh, one of the largest, if not the largest environmental authorization for a renewable energy project, 900 megawatts of generation and 800 megawatt hours of that battery storage, right? So, you know, this is a very strategically placed wind farm. From, from site, you can see three power stations, um, particularly to our west, you can see Tatuka. Tatuka power stations, um, EAF is between 17 and 19 percent. So a capacity factor of 40 percent of a wind farm down the road, you know, we're outperforming a coal asset just, just, just around the corner. Um, the just energy transition um, process that we are going through, we are looking to significantly leverage the New Denmark mine, which is 20 kilometers away. The wind farm shall be using the reclaimed water from the mine to build the wind farm, um, the concrete, the water required for the roads, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we are making a big commitment to localization. There are short-term solutions to alleviate some stages of load shedding. Those short-term solutions include solar PV, demand response, potentially emergency power. But the only long-term solution is new generation. We will see significant projects being announced across the country as the weeks go by. And in two to three years' time, we will see three, four, five, six gigawatts of renewable energy coming online and alleviating the load shedding challenges that we have in the country.